overall goal of this assay is to measure the enzymatic activity of protein kinases. This method can help answer key questions in the kinase signaling field, such as how active a kinase or kinase mutant is, its specificity, and whether its activity is sensitive to different cell treatments. The main advantage of this technique is that it is both versatile and quantitative. Demonstrating the procedure will be Steve Stipik, a research scientist in the Cobb Laboratory who has a wealth of experience with this assay. To begin, add 2 microliters of 1 mg per milliliter antibody to 200 microliters of cell lysates and incubate at 4 degrees Celsius for 1 hour while rocking. Wash protein A Cepheros beads 2-3 to three times by adding lysis buffer and then touch spinning at 4 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds to 1 minute at 5,000 times G. Then, remove the supernatant with the pipette and resuspend the beads in buffer. Next, add 30 microliters of 50% slurry of protein A Cepheros beads in lysis buffer to the lysates. Incubate the lysates at 4 degrees Celsius for 1 hour while rocking. Touch spin at 4 degrees Celsius to pellet the beads and remove the supernatant. Wash the beads 3 times with 1 milliliter of bead wash buffer followed by touch spinning. Then, wash the beads once with 1x kinase reaction buffer. After touch spinning, remove as much buffer as possible without removing the beads. To initialize the assay, add the entire reaction mixture to the kinase sample. Incubate the reaction at 30